Hello everyone, welcome to GSF videos in DJSoft YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the Pioneer DJ DDJ Rev 5. So it's a controller working on Recordbox and Serato. It will unlock both and you will have all the function you need to have a good working on each uh, software with recording, with all the functions you need, uh, full hot cues, full pitch play, etc all the functions without, of course, video part or DVS part, etc. But it's not compatible with uh, DVS or whatever, so it's not important. You have also, it's a two channel when you see the controller like that, but you will have those buttons here allow you to access to the deck three and deck four, so it's four deck and four channel, because when you will have this, you will have deck two and channel two, here you will have deck 4 and channel 4. So you will see that you can have some function like deck move, etc. We will see in this video. I will not show you everything, but I will um, demonstrate how you can uh, do those functions. So for the moment, let's see the navigation part, mixer part and deck part. For the navigation, you will have your browse knob allow you to navigate to your playlist or navigate to your tracks. When you have the correct track, you push load. You can, of course, when your track is playing here with, without sound, it's not important. Even if you are in the beginning, in the middle, or in the end of the track, you can push, double push on load and you will have instant double. It's not so important on this device because it's, it's a controller, so you will have two or four deck. But if you have one mixer and one only one turntable, and you will have instant double, you can also mix with two tracks in two channels with this function. I made several videos around functions like instant double, hot cues, etc. Um, I will not showing you everything on this controller because those functions will be uh, showed directly on this page. So go to the tips page and you will have everything about each function you will have on this video. So understandable. Okay, so navigation, you have the back button if you want to um, illustrate or move the elements directly on your software when where you want. It will be the same on Serato on Recordbox. And you will have at the end the prepare button here. If you push on that with shift button, you have a little box when you can put some records. Um, it's like if somebody, someone is asking you um, a track, but it's not the time. Yeah, sometimes it's you don't want to play this track in the all um, the all night, but. If you want to play this track, but it's not the right moment, you can put it on a little virtual box and you can take it when it's the right moment. So prepare box. And at the end, deck move. It will be important because deck move uh, will move your track one to the deck four or track two to, to the deck three. It's right on here and here. And why it's important? For example, you will have this function, scratch bank. It will Put, switch directly your sample, e every sample directly on the deck, on the deck one, for example. So you will have no track, no, th the, the previous track will not be here. So it's important, it's important to put your track directly on deck four with the fader on. And with that, you can have your scratch bond and scratch, uh, you can scratch your, your, your sample directly on the deck one. So you move to deck four, you put your sample, so your sample directly on deck one and you can scratch it. It's for that, for example, it's irritated um, from the DGM S11, for example. So navigation after the uh, deck part, let's see with some music, uh, the mixer part, sorry. You will have your trim control, or your, it's the it's an imp, important volume control to match all the big part of your track, the big level part of the track. After the trim, after you will have three band EQs. So for the moment, it will be only EQs, so frequencies, high frequencies, mid frequencies, and low frequencies. Of course, you can go to. Uh, 
more than 0 dB. But it will also be a function for the stems level. We will see after when we will talk about the stems. After you will have the FX part. So on the screen you see I can uh, take the delay or the echo of the spiral or I take can take both of them, everybody. But it will be very messy or I can put six on them, but very messy. The main idea to have is that you will have two banks so up to 12 fx um, favorite fx so you have just to push with shift button you see i have a bank b bank, bank a after you choose the right fx let's see just for the vocals on record box you push always on or just on when you want it's post fader like a reverb etc and you can have your uh, beat uh, settings on each fx after we'll have parameter parameter will be for the pad fx we will see after you can um, arrange if you want maybe for the beat jump you have the the minimum beat jump is a quarter and the maximum four beat for example but you can jump with parameter to another another part another bank with maybe the minimum it's one and the maximum is 32 for example Let's go to the PSL section, the Q session. So you can listen to the channel one, channel two, both. Of course, I said that it will be stems two. We will see after on the stems part here. And the PFL we will see um, with the connections, but you can have your balance control. So to the PFL section or master part, you have level control and you have two headphones. It will be cool because you have like we will see on the connections to USB port so you can check with another guy a friend you can mix with him maybe you on the left and he is on the right and you can have two computers one with record box two with record box or one record box one serato when you want and you have two um, headphones output for you one on quarter jack and min micro mi mini jack i don't know yeah mini jack uh, in France, we say 6.35 millimeter, millimeters and 3.5 millimeters, but I think you say quarter jack and mini jack. After you will have two channel volumes, it will be no more faders, not Macvel because only crossfader is Macvel, but it's cool though. Um, you will have your uh, PFL meters and master meters, uh, fader, Macvel fader, crossfader with a curve and reverse mode with a curve will be like that so large fade or cut fade for example reverse so no reverse the a cut in b and the b cut in a and with reverse the a on a the b on b amster switch and for the um, actual volumes, the principal volumes, you will have your sampler volume here, you will have booth level here, master level here, you have the master and the booth output on the connections at the end of the video. And I think it's done for the no more part. Let's see the pad section. So you will have a lot of things here. Like I said, you have all these functions all those functions di directly on my tips page so you can uh, see them and watch how you can make this function of this function so on record box you will have uh, with or without shift button you will have hot cue pitch play a user mode user mode allow you to have eight pads midi mapping you can have your uh, mode or your quantize everything you don't have here you can put directly here after you will have Padifix 1, Piano Play. Piano Play, it's 
you have pitch play here like i said but piano play it's more um you know like major pentatonic uh way when you play, play piano you know so it's more elaborate than pitch play and user mode at the end here you will have beat jump uh, uh, beat loop like a uh, quarter beat half a beat Uh, one bit, two bit, uh, up to I think 32 bit loop or 64 and after user mode and here you will have sampler, scratch bank also and user bank. On Serato you will have odd queue, pitch play, save the flip mode, roll, piano play and slicer loop. Here you will have saved loop, stems and user mode Uh, just a word like that, you will see stems here, stems here, and you can say that it will be not really relevant because you have stems, stems, no, because here you have also some functions, so you can make odd cues here, stems here, or piano play here, stems here, or scratch bank here, piano play here, you can, a lot, you can have a lot of combinations, so it's very cool to have both here to make some cool uh, combination. So stems, user mode, sampler, scratch bank, and user mode. So you have everything on the panel. Let's go to the, the um, deck section. So the no, normal function, you will have, of course, your big jog. I think it's like a CDG jog, you know, with some little with wheels inside. I think it's, it's the same sound when, I've, when I'm turning the jog. But you will have a light or medium or AV jog feel. It's pretty cool. You can turn like a CDG and have... Yeah, let's, let's see what it is. So in the AV, you will have that. Very fast and very long for light. It's really cool. If you want to, you know, like you, you can see on TikTok, there is a lot of guy making this. Listen, with a loop, you ex, you out the loop like that. You exit out. Yeah, a lot of people do that. It's strange, but. You, you, you can play it maybe 20 years later. You, you had already this, but whatever. So you can do this with the jog fill. Jog fill. After you have your pitch, it's the same architecture as the Rave 1, Rave 7. You have, um, how can I say? It's not like you can only play hip hop, etc. Because it's, uh, hip, but, uh, they, they say that it's more open format. Uh, architecture whatever um, the pitch with the range so you can have 8 16 uh, 50 um, no 10 16 50 and 100 and I think on Serato it's 8 16 and 50 percent you have key lock so time stretch master tempo it's like the so you can move your pitch oh let's listen to it so if I move my pitch You see, the, p the tempo is moving and the tone too. But if I move key lock, only the tempo and I have no tone, no key modification. But I can also move just the key and not the tempo. And reset or just sync. I have my tempo sync, beat sync. So two bits, you can match them or you can match the keys between two tracks. So after I will have my loop, so you can have uh, auto loop. Oh, I can't see my uh, software. So you um, choose the beat you want, for example, uh, 16 bit. You push auto loop, you have 16 bit loop. Okay. After you can decrease and increase the loop, multiply or divide by uh, an half or two. You can have a manual loop in and out and you can active or not. If you are on the loop, just at this time, you can say that I want this loop or not. 
when you play the track. You have sleep mode. Sleep mode allow you to make manipulation and the track still play underneath. So if I maybe I make a break, I have my break, but the play is when I will play this, I'm not at the right moment, you know. You push play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Etc. Sensor will be a reverse, but the tracks play, play plays underneath. But you can have also a real re reverse. So the play the track will play reverse like that. Except if you push another time reverse key with just that. We have this line here, so it's two lines for me. There is stems on a side, but there is the same thing on the ref 7, you know, the odd cue, scratch bank, save loop. It's very cool because, like I said, you can make manipulation, uh, you can make um, your own your own function on the deck and on the um, mixer part. So you can have, for example, odd cues and save loop. You can have scratch, scratch bonds and stems. You can have all you want here. So it's really, really cool. And after you will have the stems. So the stems, like over softwares, you can isolate the vocal or the rhythm, etc. Oh, I push odd cue. I have to go to stems. So it's just mute, but you can also solo stems. The only difference is that on Celerato you can have melody and bass separate. You have four stems. Here you are just three on record box, but it's the beginning of the stems on record box, so maybe there will be um, an upgrade, maybe in two months, six, six months, whatever, with a better stems and a better way with four stems at the same time. For the connection, you will have your max session, so with the on off and talk over, volume one, volume two for two mics, EQ for both, course fader, curve and reverse, and and for part, like I said, the quarter jack and mini jack. So in French, it's uh, 6.35 and 3.5. You have volume control for your headphones out and PFL section, so uh, balance between Q and master. And at the end, the auxiliary with line and portable, maybe plus six or plus 12 dB more for portable and volume control here. And at the end, let's put this right like that. You will have on and off with USB, I don't know, here, yeah, USB uh, C connection. You will have mic one and mic two with little volume here, first volume. Combo jack, um, quarter jack XLR and quarter jack here. 6.45. <laughs> Aux with RCA, double USB for two friends. If you want to mix with a friend with uh, two computers, you will have both output with quarter jack with the volume control. We saw that on the video. RCA in XLR output, main master output with the volume control here. And at the end, le, le, the little Monsieur Chipot. Monsieur Chipot is when I will tell you what I like and what I dislike on this uh, controller. I really not dislike something really bad because there is, uh, I think the Phoenicians and the connection, etc. are very uh, are good for the price tag, etc. I didn't understand the auto BPM transition, but maybe it's me uh, and it is working very fine, but I, 
I I had some uh, demonstration on the Flex 10 and I achieved to to make the function, but I didn't know how to do for this one. I don't know. But like I said, you have to practice and learn how to beat match two tracks and to make the the good phrase between two tracks and it will be cool for you to do it on your own. Um, so I don't really have some some issues with uh, this um, this controller. Everything is yeah, of course. It will be cool to have four faders, more than two to have deck three and deck four. But yeah, it's cool for the price. It's uh, it's cool, I think. So if you have any questions about this controller, the Rave Five, the DDJ Rave Five. Um, put them directly on the description, no, not on the de description, under the video in the comment section and feel free to ask your question here and thank you for watching this one. I hope you like it and see you next content. Bye bye, take care everybody.